and this is what's jamming in January. For TV shows this month, we have Gotham, as well as all the CW superhero shows coming back from their mid-season finale. Shameless on Showtime, Riverdale on The CW, and Grey's Anatomy. For movies, there's Glass starring Bruce Willis, Sarah Paulson, James McAvoy, and Samuel L. Jackson coming January 16th. The Upside starring Kevin Hart and Brian Cranston coming out January 10th. And A Dog's Way starring Ashley Judd, Edward James Olmos, and Alexand Alexandre Ship coming January 10th. And for albums, there's DC Young Fly, Trap Soul, which came out January 1st. Future from Future Hind Hindar XX presents The Wizard. Jorno Lucas, ADHD. Rich the Kid, The World is All Yours to All coming January 18th. 17, You Made My Dawn coming January 21st. And Last the Backstreet Boys, DNA coming January 25th. That's what's jamming in January. See y'all next one. Good morning, Spruce Creek. I'm Michaela Houston, and we're here today with the Battle of the Wits. This is a game where you have to start a sentence with the, with the next letter in the alphabet, starting with A and going all the way to Z. Most people can't get past cer certain letters, so we'll see how far our contestants today can go. We have Lindsay and Brooke Tangway today as our first challengers for this new segment. Me. But we have bug spray. Can you go get it then? Didn't you put it on before we left? Exactly, but why are the bugs still biting? <laughs> I don't know. Bro, come on. Forget about the bug spray. Go home then. There's no bug there. Home is where the bugs came from. <laughs> I, I think you're wrong about that. Just kidding. They're all right here. Kill the bugs. Let's go get ice cream instead of staying here with the bugs. Maybe we should just leave. No, let's get ice cream. Of course you want ice cream. Please, can we get ice cream? When a dog and her owner get separated after years of being together, the dog, Bella, must try and find her way across the country to re reunite with her owner. Along the way, she meets new friends and enemies that either help her with her quest or try and ruin it. A family film, A Dog's Way Home, made by the creators of A Dog's Purpose, touches the hearts of many. I'm Antonio Peck Brown. And I'm Jasmine Arcona. And this is Two Minute Movie Review. This week, we reviewed Dog's Way Home. What were some pros for the movie? Okay, um, I thought it was very wholesome. Yes. yes as dog movies usually are. Mm -hmm. The dog um, was so cute. It was, it was very cute, yes. The dog was and adorable. some of the other animals too. Yes, I love that. I love watching the dog play in the snow. Oh, it was so very, cute. yes, that was the best part. my heart, honestly. Mm -hmm. I thought like the plot was consistent, mm -hmm. even though it was a little ridiculous, but that's yeah, typical for kids movie. Long, it was a little but... long, yeah. I, yeah, I definitely think they could have spent more time in like the, um, the beginning, yes, like introducing everything. For sure, for sure. I think they could have spent more time there. Yeah, instead just of going into right it, into right it. Through. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Which I mean, it's a movie. It's supposed to convey its right. like plot through through images, the not through right. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Through the actions, and I don't think it was super hard for the kids to see same. what it was doing. Yeah. yeah. Another con that I thought uh, was bad was the CGI. <laughs> yes, I agree. Yeah, especially on the cougar. Yeah. They're putting real animals next to CGI mm -hmm. animals. There, yeah. The dog was real. Every animal was real but the cougar. Mm -hmm. And even when the dog was at moments, they made it CGI. CGI you could tell because it was next to real animals. Yeah. So you had a real dog and a CGI cougar, and you could tell they weren't moving exactly the same. Mm -hmm. So yeah. overall, what would you give it? I'd give it a two. Yeah. Yeah. I'd give it a three. Okay. 
Thanks. Because that dog was really cute. It was. Um, that's pretty generous for me, but <laughs> it was adorable. And I think it was really for kids like ages 5 to 10. Mm -hmm. That's good. Yeah. Well, join us next time. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye.